right? Am I right? Hey guys, what's up? It's Big Jack Films here and welcome to another reaction video. And you heard the title right. We are reacting to the trailer for Braveheart 2. <laughs> how the fuck this film is not getting any attention whatsoever? And how the fuck a trailer has come out only now? Nearly a few weeks to a week away from its theatrical release? I have no fucking idea. If you guys don't know, Braveheart is one of my favorite epic films of all time. Probably my favorite Mel Gibson movie, and it pretty much spawned the epic battle genre. I mean, without Braveheart, we wouldn't have Lord of the Rings, Gladiator, and all these other big epic battle films today. And yes, I know the film is historically inaccurate, but it was an epic beyond epics, and it won tons of Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Director back in 95. In fact, it actually beat out Babe. That's how awesome it was. But the thing is about Braveheart is that the ending does kind of set it up for a sequel. A way to continue the legacy of William Wallace with without having him be a person but a symbol of hope for Scotland. Hell, I remember seeing a Done in 60 Seconds video where they actually set up for a Braveheart 2. In fact, they actually make fun of it! Your mighty says you can get me out of this, but I've read the script. It doesn't look like there's going to be a brave heart too. The year of our Lord, 1314, Scottish poets charged the fields of Bannockburn and won their manhood forever. Hamish! Will you? But you're dead! But close to 10 years later since that YouTube video dropped, we actually have a legit sequel to Braveheart. Now I know what you all are thinking. But Big Jack Films, a sequel to Braveheart starring Chris Pine came out last year. Yes, it did. And it was supposed to come out in theaters, but it moved to Netflix. <sighs> Plus, on top of that, it's kind of in its own alternate timeline and kind of tells the story of Robert the Bruce and William Wallace in a different light. But you couldn't help but tell that they were trying to make a sequel to Braveheart. If you guys want to know my thoughts on the Chris Pine Robert the Bruce, link down below to my opening night where I did my own review of the film. But that's not the film we're talking about today. This is a legit sequel to Braveheart starring Angus McFerdin, I think is called. I apologize if I'm mispronouncing your name, Angus. You're a fucking awesome dude. Now, the reason this movie isn't getting as much attention as before is the fact that it's actually an independent production. Angus McFerdin, who played Robert the Bruce in the original Braveheart, which if you guys want, go follow him on Twitter. From what I heard, has self-financed this film himself. In fact, he's producing it. And he's returned to play Robert the Bruce, the role that made him iconic and brave heart but the fact that this was a dream project for him and the fact that it's actually happening is actually having me really excited and yeah it's probably gonna stem way too far from the original source material but who cares it's brave heart goddamn too if you guys want to see the trailer link down below but we're here to react to it today and get our freedom kilts on laddies <laughs> I've been waiting for this for a long goddamn time since I found out about it over Christmas. So let's take a look and see what the trail entails for Braveheart 2, Robert the Bruce. <laughs> wow, film festivals. I am Robert the Bruce. Ah! King. Yes! This My king! Open your eyes. You really must learn to control your temper, Robert. Well, no shit, he's pit. Whoa, he's pissed because they killed Wallace. 1306, okay. Wow. Winter is coming in Scotland, is it? Whoa, holy shit. Oh no, the Scots are turning. Wow. It looks a little low budget, but it's nice. Ooh! Wow. Oh shit. Oh, I'm, I'm hyped. This looks good. Freedom! An empire? Yep, England, yep. Oh, it's like fucking Robin Hood up in this shit. Bruce! But 
Bruce! 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 Wallace! Wallace! Bruce! Bruce! Yeah! Wow, okay. Okay, that looks good. I'm not gonna lie. That looks kind of nice. So comparing this to the Robert the Bruce starring Chris Pine, this one looks like it's actually a bit more of a lower budget. I mean, given it is an independent film, and Angus, from what I heard, is self-financing it himself, but for a lower budget, it's telling much more of a smaller story, but actually giving a bit more of a bigger scale, and kind of acts as like a short story to the first Braveheart film. Honestly, if this came out first before the Chris Pine film, I would have been a bit more excited, but still, this looks pretty decent and I'm actually looking forward to see what they pull out here. So Angus, you have my support, laddie, and I'll be looking forward to Braveheart 2, Robert the Bruce, coming out soon. But of course I want to hear from you lads. What are your thoughts on Braveheart 2, Robert the Bruce? Let me know in the comment section below. I've really got to stop doing my Scottish accent because it's really annoying. So until the next video, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. This is Big Jack Films shouting, FURITO!